What's up guys and girls, this is Tim here. Welcome back to 7 Days to Die for Alpha 16. So you find me sat on my porch, starving apparently, which I didn't notice, so I'm going to go get some food. And today, as I promised in the last episode, we're going to go bit a building, because it's about freaking time I got out of this shithole, because quite frankly, it's going to fall over at some point soon. So uh, yeah, I'd rather not be living here when that happens. Uh, do I have any of my precious meat stews? Probably in the bonfire. Um, so if you watched the last episode, you'll know that I went on a little bit of a tour around the map. Oh, thank you, precious. 83%, uh, we won't eat any more then. Uh, yeah, went on a tour around the map in order to be able to get the chainsaw, which I managed to achieve, and I got the bits I need required to make myself an auger. So between now and the last episode, I have been out and about and gathered up a load of... Um, a load of wood, which I kind of said I would, thanks to the chainsaw. I made up a load more cement. I've got some more cement buckets crafting in there. Uh, I've also been out and got myself, I've been breaking down cars. So I've got a load of fuel, including the barrels I found on the last mission. Uh, and I've also got some engines and a load of batteries because we are getting close, people, to... Um, uh, to getting in some kind of electrical system, which I know I'm kind of way behind the curve on that one But I've kind of said I wasn't gonna do electricity until we got to the main base because I want a lot of it So uh, it's good that I could get all those engines and batteries so soon um, I don't know why I'm going over here because I don't have anything on me that I need um, Yeah, it's kind of good that I got all uh, had all of those uh, Because I'm gonna need more um, so yeah, once we get to that point, then I won't have to go out and search loads of cars. Uh, right, anyway, so let us grab some wood. Most of what we're going to be doing, I've done some work on the house over there, as you may have seen, uh, but I'll demonstrate it a bit more when I get over there. Um, I do need steel. I don't need repair kits. I need the auger, which I've already got. I really don't need hide or bones, for that matter. I'll keep that on me. I don't know why I've got sand somewhere, haven't I? Crafting up a load of extra blocks as well. Have I? Oh no, because I made load more. Yeah, I've got loads more of this making. 132 minutes, two hours, nice. I might cancel some of that and get some of them stones back in case I want more cobblestone because I've only got 14 apparently. Now we don't want to go and do any more mining right now because that was boring. Uh, actually, with the auger, it's not it's pretty effective and you get a lot in a short amount of time, but I don't want to go and get more, so I might cancel off that uh, cement at some point. Right, but let's go over to the house and we're going to try and make. Start. I've got 500 of those, I've got 400 of those. Uh, archways I made a few of, just I thought it'd be interesting. Right, as you do. Now I've been, it's fair to say, putting this off for some time now, and the reason I've been putting it off predominantly is because I don't really know what I want to do with the house. I know what I kind of want in it, uh, to a degree. I just don't know, like, sorry, that's not invested, like, what I want to be. I feel like, it, it's going to be fairly basic. I'm not going to be doing some massive elaborate thing on top of this. I just basically want to have this as kind of a basement. Uh, oh, fuck, I need to grab the drawbridges. Uh, well, this is the basement here, uh, which is probably going to have so obviously storage for the mini bike uh, and maybe a spare one for another mini bike. Um, might have the generator room down here if I can fit it in. I feel like I probably can somewhere. Um, obviously, I've got to be a little bit careful because of all the, you know, I want keep these open sections open so I can pass through easily. Uh, staircase to upstairs, obviously. Uh, and that's kind of right it for down here. Uh, so the thing I've been doing is I, I did this. I didn't, uh, I basically just built these this out here and, and cheated and defied gravity because it shouldn't actually extend this far. Well, actually that's not true because if those of you with high, decent enough internet to get high enough resolution may notice something lurking in the water there. Uh, and if I jump off, I don't think. Because if I go and jump off the edge, uh, I build an extension. Um, so this is basically going to be the garden slash farm area. Um, and it's built on top of a massive grove that finally turned into proper concrete. Oh, what's going on with the rest of it? Uh, actually, oop, no. no, it's almost there. Some of it's still left to, to dry. Uh, yeah, so I built like a big solid pillar, um, and then it supports this platform, which. We'll see how we get on with stability with this because I feel like I'm st I may have stretched the uh, trusses to the length of their or the furthest extent of their support. But I'll extend this out and then this will be, say, the little garden area. So we've got that over there. But for now, I just want to finish building this up but I am going to have to go back and get the old drawbridges because they're going to determine the height of this, this room, I think, to a degree. So let's go do that. Ah. <sighs> 
Ooh, a second the potato farms will go past as well, because they should, I'm thinking. Wait a minute. Why? Uh, hang on a minute. If I haven't got loads of potatoes in my farm, in my farm, in my house, then that's reset, and I'm upset. Because when I last looked at that, that was virtually ready to go, I thought. And so I want to check it at the end, because I'm like, ooh, that should be, I should have potatoes by now. Are there potatoes in here? No. No. There's been a potato based theft here. And I have them, but I made that from the last batch. Shut up, fucking. Oh, this is why I need to move out of this house. I'm so fucking sick. Scream at that bitch. Ooh, thank you. Some bullets back. Not for this gun, but I got some bullets back. Yeah, they are, man. I mean, basically, my plan is on top of that bunker thing, there's going to be a turret that should hopefully take care of these issues. And then in this area, like around it, I want to kind of create some of them spinning traps. Um, I need to figure out a way to make them so they don't impede my entrance and exit, but they uh, kind of funnel the zombies in and get them murderized. Where the fuck are my drawbridges? Uh, oh, yeah, I made more. They're just, they're just constantly here, being cock munches. I don't know where I got that much. Look, there's two of them! Three! Oh no. Oh, fuck off you. You're not dead, are you? There you are. Oh, 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 oh! Ah, oh, fuck off! Damn you and your loading mechanic. They're just noisy. They're just noisy neighbours. Oh, that's one of the fat ones. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck off fat bag. Did you come down out of there? Yeah, so you're not stuck. Noisy and retarded, because he constantly gets stuck on stuff and shout about it. Anyway. Getting a little stressed with the zombies. That's why I need it. I need that. I need to... That's why I've... Despite the fact that I have no idea what I'm doing here, I, I need to do something, because that house is just turning into an absolute fucking madhouse. It's, it's driving me insane, is what it's doing. Yeah, and that's part of the reason I want to be out here, so I'm peaceful. Hopefully all the fucking zombies that come nearby will be below me far enough that I don't have to listen to their bullshit. Okay, anyway, enough of enough of that shouty angriness. Let's, um... Uh... Oh, fuck me, I thought I'd left him at home. I was about to go back on my enough of that shouty angriness and become very shouty and angry. Right, how, this thing is, is big from what I understand. Um... So, that's going to determine the height of this room because obviously these need to close. So I want it to go there, but obviously not in any way, shape, or form like that. So let us swap out for, let's be optimistic and say we're not going to need health kits. Hopefully this whole bridge isn't going to collapse when I get rid of these. Because uh, I want it to close up flush with this edge of this wall here, ideally. So let's get rid of this and see where it sits if I get rid of these. Obviously, it's not going to fit here because I'm going to have to get rid of more of the bridge, but that's fine. I can, I can accept that as a thing. Um, I think I'm going to have to get rid of these. Oop, the water box falling away. I thought they'd fixed that. They said they'd fixed that in the last patch, but I think they were lying. I think they were liars and cads. Uh, obviously, that's facing the wrong way around. And remember... No! Always, it's 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 left click, not right click, to do that. Oh, for fuck's sake! These things take like half an hour to craft, and there's no way for me to pick it up. Hang on a second, there might be a way for me to pick it up by destroying it and then just spawning another one in. <laughs> it's fine. We only we don't need all of them today. How how hard is this thing? Fuck me, it's weak as piss. Oh, because that's what I wasn't hitting the drawbridge. Oh my god! Right, fine, fine. It, it sounds like it's made of wood. I bet I've got no fuel in this, have I? Oh, of course I have not. Like this. Any fuel in this? A little bit. How do I do that? Close. Now we can reload. This is not beginning well. This is why I've been stuck living in that shit hole for so long. Gonna be enough fuel. At least I'm getting some wood and iron back. 
I'll be able to count all that while I spend hours and hours waiting for this to remake. Oh, so the final fact it looks like uh, wood and sounds like wood, it's not wood. It's uh, the, the organ did a lot more, lot better job there, right? Okay. Well, while well, we've started making a racket, we might as well continue. Get rid of all this. Oh, I'm such a fucking retard, man. Like, uh, half a stack of fuel, wellness on my chainsaw and auger, and the fucking. You know, let, let me just show you something before we go any further. Um, what are they called? Drawbridge. Uh, yeah, thousand wood. Rip. Whatever. Whatever, we can we can do it. Uh, you know, farming is such fun. You know, but I'll just do more. Actually, to be fair, with the chainsaw now, a thousand wood is fuck all. You can get that in about ten seconds in a right forested area. Oh god, I hope I remember to edit down the sounds of this chainsaw, otherwise you won't be able to hear fucking what I'm saying right now. Right, uh, is that six? Maybe. Ah. Oh. Looks good. I don't trust it, but it looks good. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I get up here, maybe? Can we use a chainsaw here? Right. Damn you, water! Fix yourself. Right, can you can you go here, please, and let me see what it looks like when it's here. Ah! No, I need. I I just want to. Hang on, let me look what it looks like. Where's the hinge? Okay, so the hinge is this side, or the end of where the piston kind of is is attached. So that little blocky leggy sort of tabley thing on the left side there needs to sit where these blocks are otherwise it won't work so i'm not i do have to get rid of these so thank god i didn't put that down because i'd be ripping up another one right now if i did right to so theory it should go here that's not where i want it is it, is it, is it? Fucking, is there a zombie underneath me now i don't like it I want it there, but I can't put it there because I've stood in the way. Uh, and it God, I hate the water in this game. Go there! There, there. I want it there. That's exactly where I need it, right? Uh, it's not going to be quite flush, but this is, that is where I want it to be. So can I... I wish I could just put like a life preserver on and, and float. <laughs> uh, why would it go there? Oh, I will. Okay, uh, there. Please be the right place. Go away. Get off me. Um, and uh, and please. I mean, I took an extra one out, so hopefully this will work. Where are they? What are they doing? Oh, look at these cock munches. My underwater uh, harpoon. I need to put spikes down there. And I really do want to put the... Uh, if it's at all possible, I want to put them spinny blades underwater. That would be a perfect spot for them to go. Right, how, how is this looking? Did I pick up the other walkway? I'm pretty sure I did. Did I not? Oh, it would have been really nice if I had, but apparently I did not. So let's see if we can make some in here. Walkway. Wood walkway with railing. One, two, three. I only need four. Right, yeah, four. Okay, how's this looking here? That's looking reasonable. My thinking is that it's going to sit pretty flush. I've, I've it's weird. I've never really felt like this before in this game, but I've developed a real hatred for the zombies now. <laughs> I don't know why. They're not, and it's not even like I'm not afraid of them. All right, I don't want anyone t sitting there telling that I'm a fucking pussy. Uh, it's just they're just cocks. They're just fucking assholes. That just show up and ruin everything constantly okay, how's that that is that is flush i can walk across that right now to the final test let's see what this looks like when it's closed okay i think i have to go up at least a couple more layers let's go around this way Ooh. uh well apart from the water issue i actually quite like that and i'll try and maybe spawn in some water box to fill in that hole if it wasn't for that retarded 
I don't know what their problem is with water in this game. They clearly, they should, they have not figured out the concept of water in this game. But that, I think, is pretty secure. I mean, there's a gap there. There's no way they could possibly get across. Uh, kind of want to fascia this under here a little bit, just so you don't see those. But I mean, there you go. If the water was working properly, then, then that wouldn't be an issue. So maybe I can fill in the water. But yeah, there you go. I like the new drawbridge. And it's getting to dark. Good. Um, it's alright, because we have... Nope, not that, because that would make for a really impe uh, annoying video. Okay, cool. Right, so now we need to just extend upwards. And I'm not going to have enough cobblestone blocks. But that's fine, because I hate my life. Um, so we need to go up at least two more spaces for what I can figure. Am I going to be able to make that jump? Ooh, just... Try to close the view and let's see how high it is up here. So two would be pretty perfect because I want it. I want it to be sealed. If you know what I mean. I don't want it to be like. Um, I'm not gonna have a. I was thinking maybe I could put an archway over the top, but I'm, I'm gonna keep it not like that. And keep it. So it seals it up. The point of these are not decorative. They are major security features. The main doors to keep the uh, assholes out of my base. We'll have more like I uh, like fire door type thing. Think about a fire door. Um, but for, but for zombies, that may or may not be on fire. Um, so another bitch. Do I need one? Uh, I have some stones somewhere back at the base. I think. I think it might be one of the forges. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, so I need oh, 12, 12 more. That's fine. Let's um, let's start. Now I have just four. Can I get columns? Uh, oh, pillars maybe. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Flagstone pillar is for. Oh, I have loads of cobblestone rocks. I'll you make these out of nice. Okay, I'm gonna go because I want to put some pillars in. I could use wood, but I just I was gonna use wood, but then I just thought mm, they're gonna be potentially. You know, obviously if they get attacked and damaged, then the whole fucking place is gonna fall down. And I'm gonna need to have some of those in the middle to support the middle of the floor for the next level up. <sighs> right. Anyway. So I'm gonna just go around and we're gonna we're gonna build up the rest of this. And this is all pretty simple. And then we'll go at some point once I run out of things to do, and we'll go and make some more cobblestone or grab some more cobblestone. Because I quite like these sort of using these other rocky sort of things as filler. Yoink. And we're gonna decide what we want to do about staircase as well. Because um, I do want stairs. I'm thinking. There'll be like a corner staircase. So that way I don't need to sort of encroach upon the space for the centre too much. And I missed a block under that, but the game didn't want me to reach that one, so there was nothing I could do from here. Um, does a mega jump. Yoink. Uh, but I don't know if people want to see build everything. I've not done that much building in this game uh, on camera because not in this series anyway, just because it's not necessarily that interesting to watch. But I feel like I want to do something because this is like, this has been the game, all the sort of aim of this series. You know, once I uh, once I get this built and, you know, the turret's in place and I can sort of say legitimately I think I'm safe. That's kind of the end of the game at that point. Uh, I'm going to want blocks over the top of these, so we are going to need a lot more blocks. So with that in mind... Let's go get some. Okie dokie do. Right, I got back and I made myself a few more flagstones. I also tried to kill some of those fucking assholes by the water, but it was kind of difficult. So there's still a couple down there, but most of them seem to have wandered off somewhere. What do you mean I'm experiencing hyperthermia? I won't have these lies said about me. I'm too tough for hyperthermia. Okay, so the floor level is actually going to be one more above that, isn't it? Um, so with that in mind, doink, doink, and doink. Let's do that so we can actually get back up. Uh, why was I so slow then? <laughs> why, why was I slow then when I'm fast before? Uh, God knows. Let's check. Yeah, so it needs to go along the top. That's fine. I have enough of these. I'm still crafting. I crafted like 50, so hopefully that'll be enough. Come on. Come on. You, you gave it me a second ago. There we go. 
please just connect. Don't fall off. So, so I don't know what the level of that is for them to be able to keep running. Yeah, should, I think that's going to look fine. Can I walk across the top of this? I feel like it's probably just going to fall off if I do. Okay, nice. And here. I will get to building the bridges to the other island, like to the island there and to there, which probably isn't that worthwhile. But I could like snake it all the way over to the bridge over there or something. It's kind of pointless, but fun, potentially. Maybe I could take it on land as like a raised like highway type thing. Come on, you know you want me to. You know you want it. There you go. There you go. And there. Okay, though, right. So that's my fourth thing. Obviously, this one is going to be just the entrance out to the to the garden which is going to be mainly open most of the time but in the super super emergency we can close it up okay all right have i got any wood on me did i leave it all home no i bought some good all uh, right these all just want to go to one the beauty of this design is that none of this needs to be particularly well defended cut to ah you fucking i'm gonna do it on one cut to uh you know the final episode as this place burns around me and the zombies feast on my corpse because I only made these level one blocks but you know I kind of think I want I want the house to be a nice looking normal house I don't want it to be you know a concrete fucking block or something who the fuck wants to live in a concrete block even in the apocalypse um certainly not me I want to live in happiness and joy and I think wood represents happiness and joy the other thing that I'm becoming acutely aware of which um I, I predicted a long time ago, but and customary Timmy fashion did nothing to resolve, is that I have no paint, and like like the tunnel over there, which is a horrible sort of plain concrete right now, I want to paint so it doesn't look like that. Uh, and I've seen tons and tons of paint throughout this series, and I've always gone, meh, oh, fuck it, I don't need paint. Uh, and now I need paint, and I haven't got any. It's kind of what happens when you ignore it all, I guess. So yeah, we gotta we gotta figure out that issue somehow, which I I don't think it's craftable. I haven't seen anything that would suggest it. Daylight, I'm getting there. I would I haven't seen anything that would suggest that it's craftable. Um, so I'm guessing trade like there's still a few places with work uh, working about stiffs that could potentially have some, um, and potentially traders sell it. I think I'm sure I've seen traders selling it at some point. Uh, don't, 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 before I change it, before you forget, because you know what you're like, Timmy. Um, so potentially I can get some from there, but... Yeah, so that's something on the uh, on the to-do list, is to get hold of some freaking paint. Because for ages, I was like... I, to be honest, I'm going to I'm gonna level you guys. I'm going to be completely honest. This is the kind of thing I do all the fucking time. I did it in Pyrrhon as well, which is... I didn't really understand how the painting mechanic went, so I just ignored it. <laughs> Basically, and I'm like, I won't take the paint because I don't know what it does. Uh, and now I know how it works, and it's pretty simple, and it's pretty cool. Kind of, I kind of annoyed at myself for not being braver. I did it with a texture tool in Imperium for ages. I knew it was there, I even had it, but I refused to even get it out and look at it because I'm like, I don't understand it, and I don't want to understand it because it's scary. What if I can't understand it? What if, what if, it, what if I don't understand how it works, and then I'll, I'll always be stupid? It turned out that I was being stupid for not looking at it because it was fine. Um, acutely aware now that my staircase is causing me major issues with upgrading so that can go <sighs> you know what we'll just live here it's fine <laughs> no more house required this is actually going to be quite a tall ah, fresh, precious morning right so <sighs> I don't have any arrows to shoot it with oh, nails uh, right so first things first we probably let's, let's plonk in the staircase of which we have no staircase. Staircase blocks. Um, let's make. There's lot. There's more than one kind of staircase now. Ooh, I like those. They're like the walkway staircases. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with these because they a they look quite steep. I mean, it's only one block forward, one block up, which virtually every every uh, staircase in this game would be. But it also means that I can leave space underneath for something. Although I'm not sure exactly what I would leave underneath it. Storage, maybe? Mini bike? I don't know, we'll see how much space we need to put this in. Uh, where are you going? There you are. Put the uh, pickaxe there, that way guaranteeing that the next thing I need is a pickaxe. Because um, I can double stack these. But how many is it going to take? One, two, three, 
four, hang on a minute. So one, two, three, four, five, six spaces, which makes sense because it's six floors. Um, and actually, um, hang on a minute. No, no, the sixth one would be on the top level, that's fine. So these are four spaces. So these are three. Hmm. So I'm thinking basically it's going to go. I can never remember which button it is. It's kind of going to go like that. Flat edge and then up, which means it needs seven spaces. But there's four. If I start it here, do that. Uh, hang on a minute. Shit. No, it's not going to work. Because I don't really want it to be... Was there something like a corner piece I saw? Because then the next one is going to go... If this is ideally... If I kept that at the same level and had a two platform, yeah, that's not going to be useful at all. Unless, hang on, are there two spaces here? Yes, there are. I can do maybe this. If I put in, well, I've still got some work, work blocks, haven't I? Uh, work blocks, walk way blocks, maybe. Nope, because I didn't pick them up and I only made the ones I wanted, didn't I? Very good, Timmy, well done. Uh, wood, catwalk, corner, triangular, just make up four of those, which is going to take a second. Of course, I'm full of inventory again, as always. There we are. Ah, they can stack. I'm going to say something here must stack, surely. Um, I'm wondering if this will completely get rid of all of the railings potentially potentially um, or just spitball in here oh I like it I like it I hate that one why did I fucking put that one there but beyond that I like it <laughs> ah, I hate that why did you do that? Now I can't use my stairs. Uh, but what I'm thinking, um, once I get rid of that AIDS thing that behind me is there. Mirror that on the other side. Everyone's a winner. And then these could be like little cubby holes for parking the minibike. Because that's quite a big space under there. You, they would make because you could. I'm thinking I could have mini bike park. I want two mini bikes eventually because why the fuck not? Um, no, go away, loud thing. So you could have like mini bike goes in, boop, 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 and then here you'll have like storage boxes with fuel and fuel and stuff like that. What I'd like to get is a gas pump, uh, which I may be able to buy from the trader, but if not, I'll just spawn in. Uh, and then gonna have a gas pump next to it with fuel in it because that'd be super awesome and cool, uh, just like me. So let's try and mirror that and then. Uh, I think there is like a platform somewhere. Ah, that's the wood catwalk. If I get, make a couple more of those. Come on. And then get rid of this. And please tell me you're going to sort that out for me. And why won't you go there? There you go. Oh, damn you. Damn you, it's fine. I can, I can beat you, game. You will not beat me. I know it. There we go. That works. That works. Okay, cool. Cool. And then that leaves, that leaves a fair, still leaves a fair chunk of space. Mini bikes on this side, and then maybe generator room and battery room. Separate them out into two different things. Like, because this, it's fair to say this turned out to be a little bit taller than I was expecting. Uh, that one. So. This staircase is a little bit more challenging than I thought it would be. Um, uh, which way do they go? That way. One more of those. Thank you. That and... This is 
but it won't it won't work for some reason and i'll cry yay it did work nice now we can get to work putting in the floor next floor anyway uh and the floor that's perfect because the floor level wants to be at this level ideally though why have i got two stacks of these i'm picking them up they're putting them somewhere else um and then that's perfect because that by the time yeah by the time it gets out there the floor will be perfectly high enough ah this is gonna have to be left though it's fine free is that connecting onto that uh hopefully we will see. I don't know, I might get away with just having like one pillar in the middle. But we will have to see about that in a second. Just make sure that's not interfering with the f staircase. It is not. Yes, I am liking this. Right, I'm going to get this floor put in and then I'll be back. Okay, that is all of the blocks in, I think. Hopefully there's no gaps I've left because I'm going to fall through and break my freaking legs. Why am I crouching? Because I'm an idiot. That's why. Right, let's uh, fill all these in because I think that's all... Yeah, it's all good to go with the floor. So we can paint. We can paint stuff to look like whatever we want in the future now. So it's awesome. Ah, that got rid of that top thing, which is really nice. That makes that a lot tidier. I wasn't against the idea of them sticking out the top, but... I would have eventually clawed my eyes out over it, so I'm, I'm glad it sorted itself out now rather than later. Uh, I put in these little pillar things below because I'm pretty sure this floor wouldn't stand up otherwise, and I'm still not entirely sold by the, uh... Fuck you. Uh, yeah, still not entirely sold by the stability of this. I kind of have a feeling that at some point it's going to fall, particularly if I want to go taller than this, which obviously I will, because this floor is going to be the workshop storage because that's obviously the most important floor and certainly the one i'll probably be acting the most uh, then the floor above this will be living quarters bedroom uh, kitchen that kind of thing uh, nothing too fancy it's just going to be pretty basic so everything that i need in it uh, but i so said this one's going to have all of the various uh, stations in it that i need and then i was kind of thinking what i'd like and i'm not sure how i'm going to incorporate into the design because this literally is far my brain has got to this design um Having like a watchtower type thing, um, which I think would be really cool to have. And I've actually just thought about what I might do. They're kind of not sure how I would fit that into the design because uh, what I quite might, if you think of Rust and the lighthouse in Rust, where you kind of got that house and then the lighthouse sort of is attached to the side of it and, and obviously continues upwards. I like that kind of look. And I was thinking about something like that, but I'm not sure how I would get that integrated into the design. But what I might do is actually have like a walkway off to another tower like another make like a really circular um foundation in the water and have like a completely separate like tower that'd be pretty pretty freaking cool okay right we are going to want to rail off this at some point you know health and safety ah my ankle you know that's just gonna be a constant issue okay you don't right but we are we have got some semblance of shelter up here now or in here i'm okay i mean obviously these are open, but then nobody can get that way, so that's fine. Hey, Blade, look at my new house. Right, so I'm going to continue. I made up some more blocks, didn't I? Flagstone blocks. Yeah, I need some more than that, though. Let me make up a few more of those. Just get them made, crafting another 50 of them. And we're going to continue now, and I'm going to do the next floor, which, yeah, it's going to be pretty much the same, same size as this one, I think. Yeah, I started putting these here, but then I kind of thought I don't want this to end up looking like just like a big fuck off block because that's going to be annoying as crap. Oh, fuck, I need to drink. Drink! Don't lose your precious wellness. Very close to 100. In fact, at the end of this episode, if we get the uh, next floor done, I might treat myself to another meat stew and then we could, in theory, be just over 100. Alright, so where are the extra blocks that I just made? Uh, I made some of these because I quite have a plan for those get rid of a bow um i want a balcony here basically um uh, well i want a balcony on each side kind of thing you know to be able to basically cover the bridge so i can shoot out of them um so with that in mind let's squeeze i want to use full blocks yeah fuck it we're going to use full blocks uh, we're only going to use full blocks um, we're not 
gonna go full width. I think three wide is probably wide enough. And then I do want to make um, some like ramps, maybe. Actually, let's move for a half ramp. Where are they? Half wedge incline. Nope. It's the wrong one. Wedge. That's the one I want. Make me like. I don't know, like 24 maybe? Should be enough. Let's get rid of... Um, get rid of one of them, because I don't think we need one of them right now. And... How do I... To, oh, this, see, I'm, I've been having some problems with these wedges. Um, I want it the other way up, if that makes sense. Um, I, uh, like I want it to be flat on the top, but I don't... You don't... I don't think you can do that. Um, unless it's basically like an upside down flat wedge. Give me one second, I'm just gonna look into that. Okay guys, so I've looked into it and I am being I am being retarded. I have no idea how far this game has come, but if I hold down R, look at this shit. What the fuck is going on? Auto rotate, what the hell? Uh, advanced, simple, on face, advanced. Oh, oh my oh yes sorry that was, that was probably a little bit too excited um that is what i want um i'm not actually that excited about this i mean i am because it, now this is going to work how i want it but i'm actually far more excited by the fact that i have been trying over on this thing you know when i may uh you can kind of just see it here i wanted to be able to put the blocks to make it into an actual proper circle uh, and I couldn't because I couldn't rotate them. But now I know how to rotate things. And I am I am a happy bunny because of that. Oh my god, this game. I love this game. See, and there's a reason why this is kind of my... It's kind of... it's. I'd say it's my de facto favourite game. Um, at this point. I, I've played enough of it now that... You know, it, it's not the same... You know. There were other games that excite me more at this stage of my life. Um, mainly porn-based games. But... Um, I know, but like, I don't know, this is just, this is for me, this was the game, after I played sort of mine, ooh, almost falling off, Minecraft, this was the game that I always wanted, and the longer it goes, this game, just, just the better it gets, and, and we should all be happy for that fact, uh, and they say, this, ca this came out, you know, oh, fuck off, during the whole glut of sort of open world survival games, where there was literally like an early access open world survival game every week it was cool i liked it i like that time everyone there's a lot of people who moaned and yeah, fucking early access blah 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 whatever but like you know i remember you know the whole sort of modern warfare 2 era that fucking you know where everything was going console and pc gaming was fucking a complete afterthought to every game company out there and it was just the same old shit triple a every year just being re-released and it was kind of felt like the gaming industry was dying uh and then you know along came early access that created this just beautiful system of innovation that just allowed all of these weird oh fuck off. really i broke my leg you know and and anyway so yeah there was a lot of these kind of games that came out at that time and you know, this was one of the ones that, you know, one of my sort of firm favourites that came out at that time. Um, but it stuck with it, you know. There's like this and, and Rust, to give it its credit, although it's taken a fucking million years for them to build Rust, mainly because I don't think they actually know what they're trying to build. Um, you know, they, ca you know, to their credit, they cracked on and they made it happen, you know. And, and it's just, yeah, you know, you'd have thought I probably wouldn't gush that much over a fucking block, but yeah, apparently I'm easily pleased. Um... Right, so I'm not. I was thinking, should I fanny around making this smoothed into it? But I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to keep it like that. But we're going to go. This wall wants to be free high, right? So do I want to put this? Uh, ah, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's actually not going to be. That's going to be on the inside, isn't it? Yoink! And actually, let me just make life easier for myself. Make myself a bit of scaffolding. Yoink! Um, I mean, there's no reason I couldn't have another layer. I might, ma I might make this four high. I, I hate having pokey little rooms. You know what I mean? I hate when the floors are not very big. Um, but that, 
For the balcony, that's fine, I think, isn't it? Or the entrance to the balcony, that should be fine. Um, am I really cold again? 4% food. So close to that precious, precious, whatever it's called, meat stew. Oh, God damn you, box. God damn you and your poor, poor placement. No, it's a good job I'm not using them as like the main, uh, the main, or well, defensive line. They're only 500. Freaking fall apart like twig. Now, then there's only two slight snags I've got here, or two fucking major snags. One is it's four blocks across, which means I can't put a double door on it. Uh, and two, it's four blocks across, which means I can't put a single door in the middle. There isn't a two, like, double door that's not four, is there? No, there's a jail door, which I saw in uh, Tom's video earlier, and I got so excited about. I might use them for the generator room. I think that's, yeah, I think that's kind of cool, you know, when you have... Ooh, is it day seven? I assume so. You only get that on day seven, so... Oh, well, no harm, no bother. We'll be safe up here, I think, on day seven. Right, so I'm going to just finish off the... I'm going to just replicate that on all four sides. I think that'll work quite nicely. Yeah. Ooh, kiddo. Did I miss a corner? I did miss a corner. I knew I had. Uh, so this is the only one I think. I'm pretty sure I did the other ones. He says. Not having any clue whether or not I did the other ones. Ooh, this is a gay stall. I had a quick look under the water a minute ago and they're all just being douchebags down there. I don't even think they're actually attacking anything. I think there's one guy down there maybe taking a beat, but... If you want to try and break through the... I think steel is 10,000 and then concrete is 10,000. What the fuck is that? It's like some kind of fucking stingray. Oh, I haven't seen a cop yet. Thanks for coming by though. Uh, get fucked. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. I interesting thought which I hadn't really considered is that the, um, the halls are going to get harder and harder as time goes on. So I'm on day 56, which is not that late. But I've seen like people like do videos. Not I've not watched them, but I've seen the titles where they're like on day 600 and something, and it's like, yeah, I think it's pretty insane. Lots of ferals, I guess. Lots of them freaking glowy dicks that we saw in the other place. But yeah, guys. So there we go. So now we can. I think next episode we'll start decking this out so that we can actually start moving in. Obviously, I've got to get a roof on this level. And then I think, like as I say, I. I hate the fact that it kind of looks like a block from outside, and I'm not going to show you right now because it's upsetting. Um, can I get railings of some sort? Uh, wood railing, wood railing. Yeah, but basically I think what we're going to have to do on the next level is kind of make it a little bit more bitty and just so it breaks it up a little bit. Oh, I know I have no space. I had something. Throwaway steel, maybe? Uh... Come on, I must have something that I don't want. Yeah, fuck those, they can go. They can go, why not? There we are. Right, let's just see, quick see what this looks like. Oh, I can upgrade them to with forged iron, so we'll do that as well. So yeah, we're gonna use them on there. But we need to head back and the grand finale of eating one of our things. Uh, oh, somebody hurt this. Or was it probably, probably me that hurt it, wasn't it? Uh, let's just close it. Uh, we're... Fuck off. Fuck off, you pukey get. I'm not liking the fact of how slow we are. Do I have anything I can eat on me right now? I do not. Just hope there's no one here. Uh, probably put a weapon on of some sort for this warp. What's the worst that can happen? What is, I mean, seriously, like, what are the odds that they're going to make it out of the water and catch me? Apart from significant. Uh, I'm definitely hunted. Oh, why am I so slow? I mean, I know exactly why I'm so slow, but, like, seriously. Drink this, at least get some stamina. Then we can limp our way home. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. 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 I didn't get on it! I didn't get on it! I'm gonna die! My precious wellness! Hey, I took one with me though. It looks like it took two with me. 
Okay, maybe we're getting a little bit blase with the whole fucking going out at night. Day seven, broken leg, limping across there. <sighs> I guess you could kind of say that that was at least possible, if not likely, that to happen. Uh, but we'll finish it anyway and get that at least get that wellness back. Ooh, no, that. That, that was 10 lost then, rather than the 5 that we've been losing because we've been lowest level. So guys, there we go. You can see in the horrible, terrible red sky that is the Blood Moon. You can see the base over there. Hey! Fuck you, fucking shiny dude. Um, I don't know, I fuck my house overnight. Oh my god, that noise is fucking AIDS. Anyway, guys, this ref is one way too long, so I'm going to wrap it up there. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope very much you've enjoyed this little build episode. I hope very much you get to check back for the next one. Any ideas or comments on that, the, uh, about the building would be great, and I maybe could finish this out so if my brain wasn't being drilled into by zombies. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I've been Timmy. It's been seven days to die. I hope very much I see you in the next episode.